Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. Got £500 worth of £2 coins to go through, but Lady M's going to go through them on her own because it's a challenge video. So Lady M, we've got two bags, picked them up from the post office. They had a thousand, had a thousand pound in, not sealed or anything, but the post office is always just a little bit of a bonus from my number one post office lady, Liz. The fact there was a thousand pound, there was actually 1100 and 80 pounds i think it was in total i'm opening it to cash in the the one 180 pound extra i just opened and it was it was absolutely rubbish but hopefully the rest of it is is some kind of cash in so going to upload this today so i'm sure this is going to go up on a tuesday and then my version with my other half will be on thursday so do stay tuned for that so two bags lady m no particular order which uh which which bag would you like both got five hundred pounds worth of two pound okay, coins in. Oh, that one. That one. Right. So this one's mine. I'll pull that out the way. So see, we'll film them back to back. But they will upload. The second part will upload in uh, a couple of days' time. Right. Go go go. So just just go. Just start, Lady Emma. I can okay. I can explain the uh, the rules as we go. So you want to put them all completely single singly, so we can singularly. we can add, singularly, so we can add them up. Okay, so scoring wise, so if you get a Brunel portrait, that's minus 50 points. Uh, and if it follows by a St. Paul's, you've actually forfeited the entire hunt. So I've already, I've wow. already won. Now I'm only kidding. So we're gonna use our, our two pound coin mat from the scoring point of view. So you're gonna get a point for any, any commemorative. Whoa. Ooh, nice. Oh, Magna yeah. Carta is worth is, one yeah. and a half. I think this is definitely a cash in. I just felt the same bag. Flip it over, is it just check it? It's got the, oh. the JC part, it makes you occasionally get an IRB. Yes, it's JC. Right. Okay, so you get one point for a bronze find, so a commemorative that we, we des designate as bronze, and I will show you the map of people, I'm sure people will remember it. You get five points for a silver find, you get 20 points for a gold find, 50 points for a Commonwealth or an NIFC. Um, and when I say silver find, so, um, some of them are going into the gold section, so I will show you when we get a break in play exactly what uh, what's what's gonna do right hang on two seconds let me just show you so that's our coin mat so if you get a gold find then it is 20 points although if you do find a commonwealth any of the any of the four commonwealths is 50 points as well as an nifc and for the purposes of the uh, this hunt a gold find is anything from the the underground underground train onwards so anything from there onwards is, is at least 20 points 50 if it's a commemorative the rest of the silvers are five the bronze are one. Nothing for the nothing for the com. Oh, you said nothing for the common ones. The white ones on the bottom. Right off you uh, off you pop, lady. We obviously need to talk about forfeits. So right. What's the uh, what's the forfeit for, for any loss? Okay. I can be checking the the edge inscriptions to see if there's any edge inscription errors. Okay. The foundation of liberty. Two straight Ooh. after one another. The uh, gunpowder plot. So the Foundation of Liberty edge inscription on the Magna Carta is correct. This is the Act of the Abolition of the... Oh, and there's two more. Nah. <laughs> Act of the Abolition of the Slave Trade. You can get an, an NIFC ah, version one. of this. <laughs> oh, and if you get five, ah, six, if you get six of the same coin, there's also minus points for that so as well. Uh, now, the downside to this is... Criminal portraits. The downside of this is it could be a cash-in, but is it a cash-in of all the ones they didn't oh, want because yeah. they're all... Pretty low, aren't they? Although no one would throw a Magna Carta surely back, surely. So after the abolition of the slave trade, that's got the right edge inscription, am I a man or a brother? This will have the magnanimity and peace and victory, which it does, the St. Paul's. Brunel will have his name and date of birth and death. So there's no, that's all good there. Magna Carta is the only one that's over, over face value. Magna Carta, probably a minimum of four pound, I would say, um, if you were selling that as circulated. Florence Nightingale. All these things will have all the... Yeah. Oh. Oh, two, three. Oh, I'm not, I'm not even going to bother checking red inscriptions too. Look, there's going to be, you're going to be... Oh. There's another Florence. Another Florence. Another Florence. Another Florence. Another. And another. I might have to start stacking these, love. Shall I stack them? I can stack them for you if you run out of space. <laughs> What a start. Ah. What a start. Well, I think it's it's absolutely certainly a cash in. There's absolutely no way. Mm. There's absolutely no way that that amount of commemoratives from them no, them no years way. or dates would be would be in the same bag. Definitely not. Absolutely not. So let's hope that it's it's a cash in as in someone's cashed in their entire collection and not just the 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 ones that they didn't want. Yeah. 
like all their throwbacks. Wow. So we've already, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six Guy Fawkes. Army pals. Rearrange that for the Brunel arches. Oh, is that King of, yes, King of Country is on that. I can do all that. You'll just be too busy flipping over okay. coins with pictures on. Three Marconi and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Florence Nightingale, your favourite coin as well, isn't oh. it? Florence there, uh, Florence Nightingale. Actually, I suppose I could check all the age inscriptions. I can just do them as a as an edge hunt. This will have 150 years of nursing on the outside, around the edge. But you never know, they are they are known to the edge inscription to be wrong from time to time, so it's always worth a worth a look. I think it was the Army Powell's that there's a known rotation error as well, so I can give that a little bit of a flip. It isn't. Three, four. Right, so there's four. Oh, you're gonna say you're about to say balls. five, weren't you? Yeah, man, yeah, whatever. There's no it. one wants to see them. Nothing to see here. Rugby World Cup. So sometimes there's a weak strike on the one for the 1999. There's two more St. Pauls. Which he doesn't, he just says Rugby World and Cup 1999. Two more World Cups and another. This is a whitewash. St. Paul's. This is a white this is a whitewash, isn't it? Mm, yeah. And a, an absolute definite cash in. Oh yeah, another bag. Do you have to sound so gleeful? <laughs> I can tell by the tone of voice. I mean, I'm not even bothered. It's just a bit of fun. Ah, oh, so there's a DNA double helix. Deoxy ribonucleic clear acid round the outside. That's right. There's a uh, United into One Kingdom. Thank you. Round the outside. One, two, three. So that's three St. Pauls. About peace, goodwill, and magnanimity, which I'm full of when I lose challenge videos. There's a couple of uh, Rugby World Cups, another DNA, and another St. Paul's. You're a little deflated in your chair there, love. Well, my, well, the chair's broke, isn't it? I'm sat in the hall until Great until tech you. guy gets a new chair for Christmas. I won't Great get his old, ca old chair, will I? Don't want to be shelling out for a new chair and I get one for now. I've got this for nothing. Yeah. Swizzly. Swizzly. Still swizzles, but oh, well, I'm down here somewhere. Then. Anyhow. Stop in a hole. All the world's a stage. Yeah. Shakespeare yes. comedies. So still nothing over face value apart no. from that Magna Carta. Like, did, was there anything in the rules about uh, extra points for anything that's over face value? I don't know. I think there was. I might have to check them later. Right. I'll see how, how many I get. <laughs> I hope you're holding your fans right up to the camera as well. I'd hate for anyone to miss any. You know, I hope you're getting like, right up here so people can see it. Another active, active union. union. And another. Another one. Oh, he's a GSC. Ooh. Another. Tragedies. Let's have a look at the possible edge inscription error. No, it's not. It says what piece of work is a man. And the histories. Let's see, we've got a hat trick there as well. Let's and put one, them two, in some three, kind of order. Four. Put them up there, I think. Five, six active unions. And you sometimes can get cash into this time of year because people like collect the two pound mm. coins over the course of the year and then cash them in for Christmas. Yeah. So they're not necessarily collecting the, the abolition of the slave trade. The commemorative ones. They're just any two pounds they come across. Another grown out arches. Another portrait. I was gonna talk our badges as well, so hopefully we'll we know we, well hopefully we've sold them all, but at the time upload we might still have some badges left. Charles Dickens. So it's sick. Oh, and another Florence Nightingale. Another Florence. So the badges, it's a set of four, and you get a, a, an exclusive signed Bungle and Lady M jewel signed 50 pence and six pound altogether, including postage and packages. So if you'd like some, then do email me at bunglecollects at gmail.com or message me on Messenger for friends on Facebook, or you've got to follow the channel on Facebook or through Instagram, or however you want to contact, contact us. While there's a break in play, we've got a P.O. box as well. So if you want to send something to the P.O. box, Christmas, or you want to send a Christmas card, we'll we'll read that out. Or any kind of Christmas presents or free stuff is is always gratefully received. I'm just kidding, don't don't feel obliged to send anything. Uh, what else are we on? We're on Facebook. 
So you can follow the Bungle Clicks coins on Facebook or you can find me and the uh, my real name, Honest, and uh, Archie Roberts. If you want to put it, send a friend request on Facebook. We're at Bungle Coins on Twitter. Bungle underscore collects on Instagram. And we're on TikTok as well. Something to do with Bungle and collecting, I'm, uh, I'm sure. Well, it looks like the uh, the well's running dry, I think, Lady M. Mm -hmm. I think your, your luck might be uh, might be over here. There's another Brunel Arches. <laughs> mm, a, okay, maybe. Two tragedies. In fact, three tragedies. I might have spoke too soon. Okay. There's another. What a piece of work as a man. Mm, and there's the first Trinity Lighthouse. So pleased for you. So pleased you're getting all these, mm -hmm. the different ones. Another tragedy. Surely they've seen it by now. I wonder if they've got it. It's, it doesn't have an edge inscription I could see. Okay. And another one. Let's have a look see if they've got that little bump on the head of Dr. Pimple Pot that pop a zip zit on the top of the on top of the skull. Not worth anything, but I'd quite uh, like to find one with a big massive zit on his on his head on his skull. Just to just for the sake of it. Mm. Check the rotation for you. I can be doing this, you know. Not doing anything else, am I? I was going to start counting as we go, but I think it'll take too long. <sighs> pretty certain this is, uh, this is a whitewash leg. Oh, do stay tuned for the thumbnail at the end as well. We'll be doing one of the uh, suggested Another. looks into the, into the camera for the thumbnail. Remind me, is it the Army Pals, the First World War Army Centenary? It's got a rotation. Please do tell me. If you can. Oh, he's got a, has he got a bump? Yep, he has, look. So he's got a little bump on his head, little zit. So a little bit where the dye's broken off. Can we, can we see it there? Dye broken off when it's, uh, when it's stamped. And he's got like, like a little bit of a zit there. I'll keep that. Put him down there in the plum. Well, I suppose I better put that in the plum fine section. It goes still have plum fines. What are you deliberating over, Lydia? Does that look a bit off? Like, as in not, looks more egg-shaped. And I don't know whether it was just the way I... You can get, egg, you can get eggy-shaped things. Is this me? Might have been the angle of the way the light was on it. It looks a bit off. But you found everything else. So why not? Nah. If it yeah. is, it's nothing. Sometimes you get that the inner pill kind of bleeds into there. So it looks like it's a, it's an egg. But if it is, it's now to, now exciting. It. I don't Another think. Comedies. Another wireless macaroni. Oh, look at you, like, <laughs> getting the old, the old click in, the old. Oh, oh there's oh. another one. Just a bit of fun. Another army pals. Bone out arches. Comedies. And another army bells. Thank you. Let's hope you get a bit of last bag unluck. Can't really ask for any more luck, surely. The amount that we that we've had or you've had. I mind you, I hope my bag's the same. Mm -hmm. What if what if your bag is all the common ones and that Magna Carta mm -hmm. accidentally snuck in? Yeah. And my bag is all the all the Some decent ones. Shouldn't look at them. Or not? Yes, no. I'm sick of looking at them. There's another one. Yeah. Mm. Okay. St. Paul's. Lord Kitchener. Only one of them. Oh, <gasps> do you mean? Oh, you lucky, another. you lucky duck. That's grubby, has that? Oh, yeah, but it's... didn't even recognise it. But it's still it. a gold find. Still 20 points worth that's of... Uh, Magna Carta. Uh, well, that's that. That'll be the uh, that'll be the thumbnail anyway. Stick it yeah. down there. We'll do that for the thumbnail. Is it. Right. Okay. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of a count up. So it's one point for all commemoratives. Um, silver fines get five points. Twenty points for gold and what have you. So the gold, the gold fines are the ones are them two here. Everything else is just is just standard, isn't it? Is that not silver? Oh, I think the, I think the Trinity is silver, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So we'll put the we'll put the Trinity one there. Oh no, just I'm sorry, just an honest mistake. So they're definitely. Oh, oh, we also need to do the non, the ones that aren't worth. Oh, of course, some aren't worth anything. Oh, it's oh, it's not. The, this is not the end of the world. Of course, because I you said no, each was a point. One point for bronze. Ah, right, okay. One, oh yeah, but I've got. I have actually, honestly, I have got that wrong. Like I did want to do one point for every commemorative. Okay. 
I've got to be honest, I did. Well, you've got to so, do that so, then. So one point for... But I want to make it easy to add up. Two for a bronze. Oh, two points for a bronze. One point for anything. Any commemorative. I should have just stuck to the original scoring. Such a gentleman. Right, okay. So let's do the one pointer. So so St. Paul's is a is a one pointer. Mm -hmm. Where do we let's put the where we're we gonna we'll put them? Just count them. Yeah, but no, but I, I wanted to sort them first because we I don't want to get oh. caught in Once they're all sorted, you need to just count oh, them and, and, and shorten them, them back. Where the mat but, is then? No, I'll just put but oh, okay the then yeah, put them along the bottom okay, row. bottom row. Right, so St. Paul's is any any army pals is I mean, man, not a brother. After the abolition of the slave trade, something will turn up is Charles Dickens. The two Brunels, two lots of Brunels, the portrait and the arches. Um, that one, the jigsaw. Uh, nursing. And Kitchener. Oops. You haven't got enough space, have you? You put that... Put them on there. Right. We'll sneak. We'll sneak on the end. I think. Mm -hmm. So there's only one pointers. Mm -hmm. So two points are your all your histories, your all your Shakespeare's. Your uh, remember, remember the fifth up, remember. Rugby World Cup. Marconi. Deoxyribonucleic acid. Right. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. it. And then silver, is the Trinity. And and there were gold. Magna Carta was gold. Oh yes, I just need to put that in just because I, I want to. I want to keep that yeah. one. Right. Let's uh, well, let's have a. This is ridiculous. So let's uh, let's have an add up of the one point. So I'll I'll do the one point. Is there? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. Look at you watching me like a hawk there. I've never seen you concentrate so much. So 50, 51 points for that. Bronze, so it's two lots. I'm putting that there because I don't want to lose it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty-one, thirty-two, 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 thirty
Mm, even sound effects as well. What a wally. <laughs> right, we're all done. Tune in for part two. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.